The phenomenon of ant mills is a fascinating and curious behavior observed in some species of ants, particularly in the context of foraging or searching for food. Ant mills, also known as death spirals or ant circles, occur when a group of ants becomes trapped in a circular pattern and starts moving in a continuous loop, seemingly without purpose or direction. This behavior can ultimately lead to the death of the entire group of ants involved. In this video, we will discuss about ant mills. So, if you are new to this channel, then subscribe to my channel. Let's back to the video. The causes of ant mills can be attributed to a combination of several factors, including the following. Pheromone trails. Ants communicate with each other using chemical signals called pheromones. They use these trails to navigate, mark food sources, and communicate various messages. In the case of ant mills, it is believed that a small number of ants inadvertently lay down pheromone trails. That lead the rest of the group into a circular path. As more ants follow these trails, the circular pattern becomes reinforced, and the mill is formed. Positive feedback loop. Ants typically follow the pheromone trails left by other ants, and they have a tendency to favor well established paths. In the case of an ant mill, the circular trail left by the leading ants becomes a dominant path that attracts more ants. As more ants join the loop, the concentration of pheromones increases, reinforcing the circular movement and making it even more difficult for individual ants to break away from the mill. Navigation errors. Ants have a remarkable ability to navigate using various cues such as landmarks visual cues, and the position of the sun. However, in certain situations, such as when trapped in dense vegetation or enclosed spaces, their navigational abilities can become disrupted. This can lead to navigation errors, causing ants to lose their sense of direction, and inadvertently enter a circular path, initiating the ant mill. Self-amplification. Once an ant mill is formed, it can be challenging for individual ants to break away from the loop due to the high concentration of pheromones and the continuous reinforcement from other ants. As ants continuously follow the circular path, they become fatigued, stressed, and disoriented, which further impairs their ability to escape the mill. This self-amplifying cycle can continue until the entire group of ants is exhausted and eventually dies. It is worth noting that ant mills are not a common occurrence in all ant species, and the conditions that lead to their formation are relatively rare. Some ant species are more prone to this behavior due to their social structure, foraging patterns, or environmental factors. Nevertheless, when ant mills do occur, they provide a captivating example of how complex collective behaviors can emerge from simple individual interactions and how the instinctual behaviors of ants can sometimes lead to unintended consequences. Formation of the loop. Ant mills typically occur when a group of ants gets separated from the main trail, or loses their pheromone trail. Ants rely on chemical signals, or pheromones, to navigate their surroundings. These trails help them find food sources and guide them back to the nest. When the pheromone trail is disrupted or no longer detectable, individual ants may start following each other in a continuous loop, creating a circular procession. Amplification of the loop. Once a few ants start moving in a circular pattern, other ants in the vicinity may join the procession, mistaking it for a valid trail. As more ants join the loop, the procession becomes denser amplifying the circular movement and making it more difficult for ants to break free. Pheromone reinforcement. Ants release pheromones while moving, and these chemicals play a crucial role in communication within the colony. As ants move in the circular path, they continuously deposit pheromones on the ground. These pheromones act as a reinforcement mechanism, attracting more ants towards the loop and making it even harder for individuals to break away. 
Orientation confusion. Ants typically rely on visual cues and pheromone trails to navigate. However, in the case of an ant mill, the circular movement can disorient the individual ants. They lose their ability to distinguish between the correct path and the circular procession, leading to a self-perpetuating loop. Exhaustion and death. Ant mills can be highly stressful for the individual ants involved. The constant movement in a confined space depletes their energy reserves rapidly. Over time, exhaustion and physical fatigue can lead to the death of the ants. Additionally, the buildup of dead ants within the loop further reinforces the pheromone trail, making it even more challenging for ants to escape. In conclusion, the curious phenomenon of ant mills is a result of a combination of factors including the loss of pheromone trails, amplification of circular movement, pheromone reinforcement, orientation confusion, and the eventual exhaustion and death of individual ants. It serves as a reminder of the complex and fascinating behaviors exhibited by social insects, and highlights the importance of navigation and communication within ant colonies. I hope so now you will understand ant mills. Thanks for watching my content. If you like my content press the like button. And subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon for upcoming videos. Thank you goodbye.